Hey, and welcome back to another Revit video. In this video, we're covering blends, how to create blend models in Revit. In this case, I'm in a basic out of the box Revit family, generic model, nothing special here, so we can cover the blend this way. I wanna say first, if you do learn anything throughout the course of this video, do demolish that like button, it really helps. Also, please consider changing that subscribe button to existing, that always helps. Changing the face to existing always helps me. Let's get on with the video. In this, at this point, what, all we need to do is go to blend. I'm in a blank slate again. I'm gonna hit blend. And again, we're prompted with just the most basic of tools. We're just drawing lines. And Rev is asking us to draw lines and I'm just gonna draw a square. I'm gonna draw a basic square. But let me stop right here and say what, what a blend is. A blend is essentially a model to where it's got a different top and a bottom. So again, everything in Revit nearly is based on profiles and determining what the profile is. In this case, we've got two different profiles to work with. We've got one on the top or one on the bottom and you could call it top or bottom, left and right, whatever it is, depending on how you orient this blend model. But either way, you're gonna use one profile for one side and one profile for the other. Now they could be the same, and if they're the same, I wouldn't recommend using a blend. I would just recommend using a basic extrusion because you're gonna take the one profile you need and just extrude it the length that you need, whereas a blend is different. It's gonna take the same principles of an extrusion where you start with a profile, determine a length, and push it and pull that far, but whereas a blend, the difference between a blend and extrusion is that on the second side or the other end of the blend, you have different profile. And so it's gonna blend those two profiles throughout the length of that extrusion. Right now I've got one, one profile. I'm working with the bottom. In this case, I could see top. So I'm working in the bottom. And again, you can call it whatever you want, but Revit calls it top and bottom. And as soon as I hit the green check mark and I've got all, I've got the, the profiles drawn for the bottom, I need to go to the top. I've gone to the top now, and as you, can, you know you're on a different profile whenever the original profile you drew is now grayed out. I can see it back there. It does exist, but it's not currently editable. I can't do anything to it. And I can toggle between them only if I have a sketch. So I can toggle between them after I've got sketches. So I'm gonna draw another sketch here, and so now this one is, this is my top because I can choose edit the base. I can go back to the base. I can choose edit top, go back to the top. All of that's fine. I have the option of choosing edit vertices. And this is, this is a whole different thing we'll get to in just a second, but I'll put that on the side right now. So once I do this, all I need to do is choose my constraints, I, which is the first in being the bottom, it's at the work plane, the current work plane of, of what you're working on. In this case, I'm in the basic family. It's on the reference level, it's on the basic level, so it's at zero. And then the default, the top is set at one foot. So I'm just gonna put this at three feet. We'll actually go to 3D so we could see this a little better. Right now, you're just gonna see them right there, but at, at the end, this top profile will be three feet higher. So as soon as I accept that, I could see that I've got my blend. And it's hard to tell quite what's happening because I've got two squares. So let's double click this. I will go into my top and let's change this whole thing to a circle just so we could see it a little better. I'll change this to a circle and we will move it over here off to the side. I will hit the green check mark and now we can see it working. Now this is kind of weird. Um, I'll center this a little better so it makes a little more sense. We can start to see how the blending action works. And just like I said before, it's, it is a basic extrusion, except it's taking not just one profile, but two, and kind of smashing them together, if you will. It's taking that bottom and that top and blending them together, hence the name blend. So this is kind of our result with blend. And again, you could work with any different kind of profile that you want to achieve the kind of result that you want. So at this point, let's click on this and we've, we've got, we can immediately go into the top or the bottom to edit how this looks. We can always change the depth if we need this top, like higher, shorter, whatever it might be. I'll edit the top and let's change this to a, a maybe just a polygon, just like that. 
we can see how that starts to work and we can get the blend. We've got all the different faces to work with. Now, once again, I'll go into the, the sweep itself. I'll edit the top. And like before, I said we've got edit vertices. And this is where things start to get a little more advanced. And I can't say that I use this part of blends all that much just because it, to me it is a little over the top. At this point, I've chosen to edit the vertices. And there's all different things I can do with these vertices. And the vertices it's talking about, it's going to basically take the projected vertices from my top. Because you can see I'm in the top because I have the option to edit the base. So I'm in the top. And when I edit the vertices of the top, it's giving me the projection of the, these top vertices onto my bottom profile in this case and so what I can do is I can do anything I want manually with these and I can essentially add them I can add these different faces if we want so we could have a better idea of what we see here this is just kind of squaring things up a little more to make it seem like it things look normal Revit will kind of do this for you and it's just you can have the option of changing because again I was on the top I'm controlling the base and if I was on the base I can control the bottom I, I can just toggle those on and off and this is nice if I don't really want to see all these different these different lines on my model and you're going to have these regardless just because they're they're the ones that are connecting the profiles together but like I said before I don't mess with this a whole lot just because it is a bit over the top but I can choose to like twist some of these left or right and you know it's not again it's not something I really feel the need to do although if you do need to, to achieve a specific kind of profile you can do that with the twisting left or right I'm gonna go to the base and then choose twist left and you can see how I got my twist left or right if I twist left and then I can twist right again you can see how I achieve different kinds of profiles with this with editing these vertices you can kind of make it more dramatic if you want I can hit choose the green check and yeah we can see that looks quite a bit more dramatic because essentially what we've done is we've twisted this blend even more we've made it even more dramatic so I'm still getting all these points that connect from one pro profile to the other through these edges and there's no way around that just because that's how the blends work so that's gonna basically do it for blends and the last thing I'll say about blends is I this this is one of the least used types of modeling that I use because I, you know there's not a lot of times where I need to blend something together you know I usually have something that's pretty static that's taking one profile only usually it's an extrusion or, or the sweep I honestly use sweeps more than I use blends but blends they're used for very specific circumstances typically I would use a blend if I needed to model something more decorative maybe it's a sculpture or maybe you know something very specific within a space not necessarily something for the actual architecture or documentation but something to to make and make the space more liven just liven up the space a bit more um, I don't use blends a lot all that much but this is gonna be a basic tutorial on how to use blends please if you learn something definitely demolish that like button and also change the phase of that subscribe button to existing that always helps I sure hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching.